there's been this whole, you know, like buzz around AI and you know, like Chat GPT, you know, and and this AI, they are now like uh, spitting code, you know, <laughs> being if you give it a prompt, it can, you know, spit some code to do some functionality, or even in some cases, I've seen like AI like build the whole website and stuff. Like, should we? Uh, I I've read like so many material around this topic, right? But just to also get your your perspective about this, should we like as software developers um, be concerned about these, you know, uh, new advanced forms of AI taking our jobs? And also like for people that are currently you know, studying to become software developers, should they be concerned that, you know, by the time they are done studying, there wouldn't be any jobs left for them to do? No, I, for me, I don't think so. We have these discussions with my colleagues and some other junior developers that, yeah, AI is taking the job and all that. I, I don't feel so. Software engineering is beyond coding. That's why I always say software engineering is not only about the coding, and even the codes that the the AI generates, you need a lot of um, computer science fundamentals to be able to understand and make changes. They make mistakes, and um, these are those those times that they, they they don't come. Some of them, some of the code they generate are not production level code. So um, it's up to the developer to be able to scrutinize the code and adjust the code as much as possible but not to use them i am not against using them you need to use them for me i use the code pilot for um, github and it, it is good sometimes it generates certain code and which you could iterate and some of them also i use them as a learning process so some of the code they generate i look at the next loop of the generation the other several of them then to be able to understand a whole lot of um, code, um, like logic, of how this AI uh, are, are generating them, and when you modify them, you that's where you get to that production level, and um, beyond the coding itself, there's deployment, there's <laughs> code quality, there's um, there's testing, you know, code coverage. There's um, when alerting, there's uh, monitoring, there's um, observability. These are things that a code generator will not do for you. Um, and even scaling, there's some scaling, you know, there's some, um, um, and beyond that, there's also like how the data, um, how, how the solution can be data centric, like moving data from one, point on from one services to another there's also database replication there's a whole lot of stuff right beyond just coding so it's i don't think it will take the job it will take the job for only the coders so if you are just a coder <laughs> you just code i think it will take it will take your job but if you are you are a software engineer you go beyond coding and and that's what 